So I'll be using the same data as in previous video. So sales is our dependent variable and these are these are our independent variables. So now here I am, I'm going to estimate my regression model. I go to analyze regression linear. So I have the cells and then I select all this variable, click the first one, then press shift and the last one, all of them are selected and I'm here. We have to save the residuals. Okay, so we need to save the residuals and we need to save the predicted values. These two saved values will be used for homoscedasticity test which we will do using those but we can also do something here. We can plot the residuals against the predicted values. So z resid is the predicted residuals. We plot them in the y-axis and z pred is the predicted values of the dependent variable given the data we plot them in the x-axis okay so here we will see for the predicted values of x actually if the error terms are increasing okay that's what we want to see if they are increasing or decreasing then we have a heteroscedasticity problem if not then we don't have a problem okay so from here we can get an idea of homoscedasticity and we'll click ok so this is our estimated regression model. The R square is pretty good and all the values are more or less same as what we had before in the previous video, right? Then this is the scatter plot, which is for, which is to look for the heteroscedasticity issues, right? So here, can we draw a line? If I double click again and I just click here and then I mention that linear, I want a linear line and close, then I get a line like this. So here we see that actually the values, the observed values, they are getting dispersed with increasing values of the predicted values, right? Like here the errors are quite larger than the errors here, right? So here actually it indicates that we kind of have a heteroscedasticity problem. But this is a graphical representation, okay? But we can do better. We can do a test called brush pagan test. Unfortunately, that cannot be done in SPSS directly, but in other softwares, you can just do it manually. But in SPSS, you can do it using macros, or I have a kind of analog, analog way of doing it. So I will show you actually how can you do that. So to do that, actually, we have already saved these values, the residual values and the predicted values, right? But we will need only the residual values. If you if you remember, the idea of homoscedasticity is that the residual values does not increase with increasing values of independent variables, right? So that means that the independent variables does not affect the residual values, right? So to do that, that's the concept of Bruce Pagan test. But before we run the test, actually, we have to do one more thing. That is, we have to take the squares of the residual values. So now I will just go to transform quickly and I'll go to compute and I will write S square of residuals. And then I have the residual here multiplied. I will just multiply the residual with itself. So that will create a squared residuals variable here. Okay, so I think I have a new variable here. So I will use this variable as the dependent variable and I will regress all the independent variables on it. Okay, so I did this mostly to get rid of the negative signs and have a more standardized values, okay. And then I'll go to analyze again. I'll go to regression. So I will just use the residual square as the dependent variable and I will keep all the independent variables same. Okay. So here the idea is that, you know, from the ANOVA, we can see if any of the independent variables has a significant effect on the dependent variable. And in this case, the dependent variable is the square of the residuals. So here I would like to see that there is no significant effect. That means, that would mean that with increasing values of independent variables, the dependent variable does not change drastically. It remains more or less constant, okay? And for that, actually, I will look for uh, the ANOVA p-value of greater than 0 0.05, okay? So this is the, this is actually, by, by doing this, we are doing the bruce pagan test, and the idea of bruce pagan test is that uh, that uh, and and uh, the null hypothesis in the boost pregnant test is that the data are homoscedasticitic, okay. And the alternative hypothesis is that data is heteroscedasticitic, okay. So when we will have the p value higher than 0 0.05, that would mean that we will accept, not accept, we will support the null hypothesis that we will fail to reject the null hypothesis that 
that data is homoscedasticity. Okay, so that's what we want to see. We want to see the p value of ANOVA higher than 0 0.05. So I will just click OK. And then I will just go to the ANOVA here. So here I see that the significance value here. Okay, here we can see the square is is the dependent variable and others are the independent variable. So here I see that actually our the significance value we got that is actually less than 0 0.05 okay so that is actually less than 0 0.05 so it's a it's it means that we have we we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that data is heteroscedasticity okay so we have a heteroscedasticity problem